Stories of the Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. This is Jesus. Hey, oh! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus had 12 men who followed him through his ministry. They were called his disciples. Jesus and his disciples gathered for one final meal together. Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, and began to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus loved his disciples, and he knew the time was coming for him to leave them and return to heaven. When Jesus came to Peter, he said, Whoa, 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 wait! Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, You don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. Peter said, you will never wash my feet. But Jesus then told him that unless he washed his feet, he would not belong to him. Oh, well then, okay. Then Peter said, then wash my hands and head as well, not just my feet. But Jesus told him that was not necessary. He just needed to wash his feet for Peter to become clean. So Jesus finished washing their feet and said that the disciples should do to others as he had done for them. He told them to follow the example that he had set for them to serve each other and not think of themselves as greater than any other. Then God would bless them for doing as Jesus had taught them to do. My name's Kayla, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today and learn more about Jesus and the Bible. In these next few weeks, we're going to learn about Jesus' last days leading up to Easter. And do you guys know what happens on Easter? Jesus rose from the dead. So I'm so excited to learn about this with you guys. Today, we're going to learn about a story where Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And we're going to be in John 13 verses 3 through 17. So if you've got a Bible, hit pause, go and grab it, and come back. Got it? Good. I've got mine here too. So we're going to start in verse 3 and read to verse 17 together. Jesus knew that the Father had given everything into his hands and that he had come from God and that he was going back to God. So he got up from supper, laid aside his outer clothing, took a towel, and tied it around himself. Next, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who asked him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I'm doing you don't realize now, but afterward you will understand. You will never wash my feet, Peter said. Jesus replied, if I don't wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. One who is bathed, Jesus told him, doesn't need to wash anything except his feet, but he is completely clean. You are clean, but not all of you. For he knew who would betray him. This is why he said, not all of you are clean. When Jesus had washed their feet and put on his outer clothing, he reclined again and said to them, Do you know what I have done for you? You call me teacher, Lord, and you are speaking rightly, since that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done for you. Truly I tell you, a servant is not greater than his master, and a messenger is no, not greater than the one who sent him. 
If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I'm not speaking about all of you. I know those I have chosen, but the scripture must be fulfilled. The one who eats my bread has raised his heel against me. What a cool story, huh? It's kind of crazy to think about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. Before we get into the story, I want you guys to do something really quick. And you'll have to hit pause again, but that's okay. I want you to find the dirtiest, stinkiest shoe you have and bring it back. Ready? Go. I'll go get mine too. Do you have yours? Here's mine. It is the, it's my dirtiest shoe actually. It's stinky. I've worn it in the rain. I've worn it in the snow and all around. But think about the disciples. They would walk from town to town with Jesus and they would go, they would go in the dust and the, they were in the desert, remember? So have you ever been to the beach and when you take your shoes off, there's a line uh, around your feet? That's how the disciples' feet would be, but even dirtier. Okay, that's enough talking about dirty feet. I'm starting to gross myself out. Now that we have a clear picture of how the disciples may have looked and felt during that time, we can really understand what Jesus was doing for them and how cool it was that he would have washed their dirty feet. Jesus knew his time was drawing near on earth, so he wanted to set an example for his disciples here on earth. So he got a big bowl, a towel, and he washed and dried each of his disciples' feet. Jesus did miracles and was the son of God, but he humbled himself to wash his disciples' feet and to live here on earth as a human. Do you guys know what it means to be humble? Hum humility is actually the opposite of pride, but we have to know what pride means too, right? Pride means that you're not that you're puffed up and you think you're better than others. So humility means being making yourself the same as the people around you and putting others above yourself. That's what Jesus did when he washed his disciples' feet, and that's what he wants us to do for the people around us. Jesus showed us how to serve others. Most every disciple was fine with Jesus washing their feet. I would be too if my feet were that dirty, wouldn't you? But the disciple Peter knew who Jesus was and he said, no way are you washing my feet, Jesus. But Jesus told him that if he wanted any part of Jesus, that he needed to let him wash his feet. So then Peter said, I want the whole shower. Peter would do anything to be close to Jesus. Would you understand what Jesus was, was doing? I don't know if I would, but Jesus goes on to explain that he washed their feet and just as they should wash others' feet. Jesus set an example for us how to serve others here on earth. Philippians 2, 7 says that Jesus made himself nothing, taking on the form of a servant, a helper, and that we should think the same way. How can we do that today? We probably won't go around asking everybody if we can wash their feet. They might think we're kind of weird, but we can definitely help people when life gets messy and dirty. They may not need their feet washed, but from Jesus, we learn that we will never think that we are above anyone else or too good to help somebody with someone. Let's pray that we can find ways to help someone this week. Dear Lord, thank you so much for sending your son down and humbling himself to die on a cross for our sins. Thank you so much that he set an example for us on how to help others. Help us to look out for ways to serve others this week and to give that glory to you when we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you next time, Brook Kids. Hey, kids! Wow! I'm here with my very special friend, Frankie! <laughs> hey, everyone. Frankie, I have a weird question for you. But can I wash your feet? Um, no thank you. Pretty, pretty, please. I love to serve people, and Jesus did it. Um, still no. But what does it mean to serve others? Like serving people food at a restaurant? Well, kind of. That's one way of serving. But serving others means helping people when they need it. 
even if you don't necessarily want to do it. Ooh, like when my mom asks me to wash the dishes when my favorite movie is on? Exactly! And Jesus tells us that when we follow him, we get to serve others. So next time, maybe you could surprise your mom by doing the dishes even before she asks. Yeah, yeah! Or we could make someone a Get Well Soon card and send it to them in the mail. Or help with the groceries. This is starting to sound fun. There's so many ways that we can serve God and others, we just have to be on the lookout. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to start serving others this week. How about you, Frankie? Me neither. Wow! wow!